Welcome to Amritsar. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's weather. Good afternoon, my friends, and welcome to Punjab for my first video ever in Punjab. And we are leaving the hotel room right now because we are going to find somebody who is meeting me here, which you'll see in just a few moments. Oh, there he is, the king of Paneer. <laughs> Rafa, good to see you, brother. How you been? I'm good. Yeah, How's very it? good, very good. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been what a year? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking it's good, great brother. To see you. Yeah, great to yeah. see you too. How's everything? Uh, it's uh, nice. Yeah, we're gonna call you Mr. Yeah. India, bro. You've been to like every state in the last uh, two months, yeah? Yeah, no, last uh, 34 days. 34 I days, covered, yeah, yeah. Uh, almost uh, South yeah. India. And like were you vlogging six, it? Six, yes, I'm vlogging it. Oh, all right. So you can see Mr. Paneer's coming back hard Namaste. and strong. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. How's everything? Going on. Yeah, this is the man behind 450 videos edited on my YouTube channel. So, Raul, the man, the myth, legend. You probably saw him in the India 1.0 series. Great to see you, brother. <laughs> Great to see you again, too, brother. <laughs> First time seeing each other since the last India series. Yes. So, we're going to be exploring uh, Punjab together. Let's, Let's do it. Go. Let's go. All right, guys. So, we are just on the outskirts of the uh, Golden Temple area. And we got to do uh, one of these crossings where you just kind of walk and hope no one runs you over. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to see. Don your blood. I also don't know any Punjabi words, and after being in Assam and uh, West Bengal, I'm pretty much only remembering Danyubad Dada. You know Danyubad Dada? Dada in Kolkata. Yeah, Dada. in Kolkata. Ah, and in uh, Assam. Assam. Yeah, Dada. yeah. Okay. Yeah, have you been to Kolkata or Assam? No. Yeah, nice cities and states. Yeah. Cool, it is hot over here. Is it this hot in Rajasthan right now? Yeah. All the time, yeah? Like, you know, Punjab and Rajasthan border is like each other. Yeah, close, yeah, yeah. Close to each other. Yeah, like yeah. Punjab and uh, Rajasthan border. So it's the uh, same weather. Like a six hour bus ride or eight hour? Uh, it's uh, almost eight hours. Almost eight hours, wow. Yeah, so that's a, that's a nice little journey. Yes. Raul took the trip overnight last night to come and meet me, so it's gonna be. A, uh, probably a tiring day for Raul yeah, because, uh, because uh, my bus yeah. got cancelled yeah, yeah. and I book again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's that's a frustrating process. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, we're heading into the town this way, and we're gonna show you around, guys. What is it? Uh, airport. Airport. Oh, Golden Temple. Where do you want to head? Uh, you say uh, in Golden Temple. We can... uh, Golden Temple. Yeah. Uh, Kidna, brother. Kidna. Oh, 20? All right, well, let's hop in. All right, I guess I'm getting up front. Ah. Okay. On your boat. Uh, all right, uh, you speak Hindi? Yeah. Uh, Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? America. America. Oh. Yeah. What's your name? Mitish Kumar. Mitish Kumar, nice to meet you. My name is Mac. Mac. Yeah, nice. Mac. Nice to meet you, brother. All right, so we're cruising through here. All right, we got our first stop here. How are we doing back there, Raul? We got you? Yeah. All right. All right. Perfect. Yes, that's right. All right, we're dropping off one of our passengers. All right. And that's Golden Temple right there? This side. Yeah, in there, is, inside is Golden. Yeah. Oh. All right, we got to sneak right here into traffic. As we say, welcome to Amritsar, Punjab, my friends. We are here. And this right here is going to lead us inside the gates of the Golden Temple area. No, hey, how we doing? How do I say hello in Punjabi? Yeah. A uh, word for hello in Punjabi? Hi. Uh, hi in Punjabi? No, namaste, Hindi, namaste. Namaskar, uh, Bengali, uh, Namaskar, uh, Namaskram, okay. Kolkata. I'll figure it out. Yeah, you know it, Raul? I'll figure it out. Uh, uh, you can say hello in Punjabi, Sasriyakal. Sasriyakal? Sasriyakal. Sasriyakal. Yeah. All right, Sasriyakal, Punjab. And uh, for thank you, you can say uh, Dhanavad. Dhanavad. Like, uh, like uh, Hindi, Dhanavad. Dhanavad. Called, uh, Dhanabad. Dhanabad. All right. And then hello is what again? Sasariya Gal. Sasariya Gal? Sasariya Akal. 
Sasriya Akal. Sasriya Akal. Sasriya Akal. Sasriya Akal. Sasriya Akal. Alright, I think we got it. Sasriya Akal. Sasriya Akal. There we go. Sasriya Akal. Alright, people are understanding. That's good. It's a very good. Sasriya Akal. All right, welcome to the Golden Temple area. So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my first impressions of being in this area. My first time in the state of Punjab, definitely first time in Amritsar. Now the closest I've ever been to here is actually on the Pakistan side on the Wagga border. That was the closest I've ever been here, which is only like, I think 30 kilometers. So you can already guess on the India side here, I'm gonna be visiting in the next couple days. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and explore this place. As you can see, it's uh, pretty busy here, but the streets aren't super, super crowded, like with people and crowds of people. Maybe that's because it's hot. Maybe it's because uh, just a little bit uh, less crowded than some of the other areas. But I bet once we get close to the Golden Temple, there's going to be a lot of people. Okay, okay, we are almost in here. There it is, the Golden Temple. Had all the police over there looking at me, wondering what I'm doing. Just filming a video, my friends. All right, we're entering into the Partition Museum right here. Should we go in there and check it out? It's a good spot. What do you think? Stop at the Partition Museum? Yeah, we can go if you want. All right, let's check it out. Right here is good, brother. Right here is good. Yeah. Oh, well, looks like we're busted. All right, down your butt, brother. Thank you very much. All right, we have arrived to the uh, museum right here. So, okay. Raul's got the camera bag. Let's do this, yeah, bro. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so first time in Punjab, yeah? No, not first time. I visit Golden Temple many times. Oh, many times, okay. But not uh, visit this uh, partition museum. Oh, okay. All right, so you know your way around Amritsar then? Uh, no. No? Honestly not. <laughs> I just uh, came here to visit uh, Golden Temple. Golden Temple, Golden okay. Temple and one time I visit Wagga border. On Wagga border? Yeah, ah, one you time. Been. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. perfect. And so, how long ago was that that you visited Golden Temple? Golden Temple, it's been uh, maybe three months or... Oh, three months? Oh, yeah. recently? Oh, <laughs> perfect, all right. So he knows this place, uh, this place pretty well then. It's good. Yeah, that's good great. Place. All right, and we are walking in. This is the Partition Museum. And this looks beautiful. All right, so we're walking into the museum here. And look at all these chandeliers. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's got to be like 50 of them hanging from the ceilings in here. So just a beautifully designed museum area. And yeah, surprisingly, there's not that many people over here. Yeah. They're probably all uh, either inside because it's so hot outside or over by the Golden Temple right now. So we got Ambar Sari. Uh, street food right up here food street yeah oh uh, that's a restaurant or a set of uh, little shops right there uh, you haven't eaten yet right sorry you didn't eat no, yet no. okay <laughs> well the great news i was waiting for you <laughs> perfect well the, the good news is inside the golden temple there's a lot of paneer yeah yeah, yeah a lot of paneer so uh yeah guys this you is, know what i like uh, paneer yeah paneer yeah you love paneer bro <laughs> yeah. this man i i traveled with we, we traveled for what, like 11 days you remember he, he ate paneer for every meal <laughs> every meal nothing else he's like he look he would look through the menu for like 10 15 minutes and he would <laughs> just for fun but then he would choose the paneer <laughs> yeah. oh the museum's right here yeah oh let's do the museum yeah oh thank you brother all right, so this is the ticket counter, yeah? yeah? And so, do you know what the uh, museum has inside? Like a bunch of uh, ancient uh, Punjabi artifacts? Maybe they held the uh, photographies for the ticket. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see. Yeah, I like that foreigner price, 250 Indian 10, 25x the price. Okay, why is the Partition Museum in Amritsar? Amritsar's experience with the partition and its location at the border gives it a unique perspective. This gallery contains a brief history and context of the physical space around. Oh, very interesting. Split, yeah, in 1964, is it? This map was published at the Imperial Gazetteer of India 
the map titled Political Division shows the area under the government and the princely states. Where do you come from? So, we got Bengal. So that means uh, Darjeeling used to be... Oh, so Nepal, Nepal was uh, always, uh, always separate, yeah? We got Baluchistan over there. Oops, sorry. So this basically was all part of one, and then the split happened. <laughs> so on October 16th, Bengal was partitioned into two states on a pretext of administrative convenience. The move was widely seen as an attempt to break the rising political struggle in Bengal, create divisions between Hindus and Muslims. Protests broke out across Bengal, including the launch of the Swadeshi movement. So basically, there was one specific day where all of a sudden a border was created, yeah? Where? Oh, okay. We go there after the Wow, so April 11th, they just shot for 10 minutes straight. So many people, so good. 379 killed, 1,200 wounded. True numbers were much higher. Yeah, because it says firing for 10 minutes straight and there was no exits. Well, that's some intense uh, history there. Self-government within the British Empire or without the British Empire, the foundation of the Consolidated Northwest proves to be the final destiny of the Muslims. All right, guys, so that was a little tour of the uh, Partition Museum right here. Really beautiful place. Yeah, it was, uh, Everyone must have to visit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's honestly, it's a great place to visit because you can understand a little bit more about the partition and the separation between uh, Pakistan and India. It was very interesting to learn more about it, especially because we're right near the border. So, yeah, that was uh, quite an experience, and I was only able to uh, catch a small glimpse of it, but. You guys should get a little taste of what it's gonna look like. We've got a lot of construction going on here, but we're about to enter in the Ambas, Ambarsari food street right here. So, this is it, hello. And, all right, this looks like the spot. Try out some food inside here. Let's see here, gonna need to try something uh, delicious. All right, so. Ambrisa special. Ambrisa Ambarsar special. Okay. Oh, we got, uh, is that paratha there? Paneer paratha. That one I like. <laughs> yeah, paneer paratha, yeah, that, that's your go to. Uh, and what would you recommend? Uh, uh, what would you recommend? Ambatayin ko kuncha. Paneer wala paratha. Aloo. What's the aloo? Alu is like potato. Oh yeah, that's uh, one one for me, please. Thank you. And something. Uh, one, please, fresh lime soda, salted, and then one cold uh, bottle water, please. Raul, uh, I'm gonna guess you're gonna go for the paneer. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Was I right? You know my things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I knew he was gonna go for it. Okay. Okay. Pan paneer pa paranta and one alu alu paranta. Perfect. And for drink? Fresh lime soda, sir. Uh, do you have juices? Uh, I'll do like uh, cold coffee. Perfect. All right, we're gonna be trying out a uh, what is this one called? The uh, lime soda or salt soda? Whoa, it's always such an interesting taste. The first time I ever had this, which now I've had so many of them, I order them all the time because they're refreshing. I was so confused by having a salty drink, right? It doesn't sound super refreshing, but it's almost like a sugarless Sprite, at least this one is. A sugarless Sprite with some, I guess there's a black salt they put in here? Yeah. Yeah, black salt. I mean, you can see the first time you ordered I had this these, one? I ordered the uh, fresh lime soda. Fresh lime salted. And you can see swimming around and there's salt. But the first time I saw that, I was like, oh, is it is it possibly uh, like dirty? But it's not, that's actually <laughs> meant to be in there. Ah, refreshing. What did you get over there? Cold coffee. Cold coffee, oh, so nice. nice. Like ice cream coffee then, yeah? Mm. Yeah, that looks good. Enjoy it. All right, so right here we've got the Alor. 
Is that what it's called? Alu, alu paratha. Alu, alu paratha. Oh, all right. So, what is the like the difference between alu paratha and like typical paratha? Like like potatoes inside, yeah? yeah, inside. Oh, that smells delicious. Mmm. So right there, as you can see, we've got mashed potatoes in between there. It looks like there's even some onions. Not much of a spice in there, but don't worry. For us spice lovers, I think this little sauce right next to it. Oh, this, this is pickle. Pickle sauce. Pickle, pickle, achar. Mmm. It's a little spicy, though. No? Yeah. It's called pickle. Pickle. Pickle, yeah. So yeah, the pickle sauce, compared to just this on its own? It's, it's not sauce. But it's called pickle only. Pickle? Pickle. Not sauce. Not sauce. Okay, so it's just pickle. Alright, so we've got the pickle right there. And the pickle is a similar feeling to what a sauce would be. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> but it's not actually sauce. Uh, and putting it right on top of that paratha right there, it gives it a, a stronger kick, you know. The potatoes, without anything on there, you need to add something. It looks like they also give us the option to put a little uh, butter on. And what is this? Curd. This is curd. Curd, yeah? Yes. You can try it with uh, uh, paratha with curd also. So for me, when it comes to like anything that's like yogurt based or like this, I'm not a big fan of it. It's more for Raul. He can have mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. And you've got the uh, the paneer masters paneer. got paneer, yeah? <laughs> Paratha with paneer. In it. I'm hungry actually, honestly, because mm -hmm. I did work out today. Oh, you went to the gym? No, just uh, in push hotel. Up, push up. Push up. Oh, push all right. Up. So you're getting shredded these days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You and me both, bro. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> let's try it out. Yeah, you need the gains then. Oh my god. Like you can just put your. So let's see how the uh, yeah okay. the local man does it. This is. Butter. Are you gonna take a bite out of that thing? You have, yeah, you can also try it out. Wow. Like you have to put the butter on the parantha. Yeah. And uh, that's, oh my god, hot. Oh, so it just basically douses that thing yeah. in butter. Yeah, in the butter, uh, try with pickle. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the paneer oh, nice. master. How does that compare to other paneers? Oh my god. How does that compare to a Rajasthani paneer? It's different. It's li uh, it it tastes taste different. Better or worse? So it's a uh, Ambarsar paratha, you know. In Ambarsar is uh, in Punjab. Yeah, maybe. It tastes taste different. And you like uh, Rajasthani or Punjabi paneer better? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he won't say. Punjabi. Oh, really? <laughs> no. He's not even true to his home. Well, that's a good sign for you, Punjab. You guys make a uh, very I'm, delicious paneer. It's, I'm an uh, honest man. <laughs> yeah, he's an honest man. Mm. Yeah, I love this with the potato in it. You can try the paneer one also. Let's yeah, break me off a little piece of that paneer, yeah? yeah? You can try with the butter. Yeah. And pi you pickle. You All right, yeah. Pickle. Oh, he's making it for me. All right. Down your butt, brother. Wow. It's different. Mm-hmm. That's quite good. The flavors are completely different in his profit. I think probably because he has got it loaded up with butter and a lot more of that pickle sauce and then mixed in with the paneer and whatever spices they have in there. It has a whole different zing to it, but I'd say it's quite good. I like it a lot. I'll have to agree. I like it better than Rajasthani uh, paneer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so for this meal, for us to have the uh, two parathas, uh, cold coffee, lime soda, and some water, four eighty-five. So right here inside the Golden Temple, I'd say that's a very good price here. It comes out to about uh, six U.S. dollars roughly. So, mm -mm -mm. and there's a uh, small tip for our friend. Oh. All right, Johnny Bud, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank All right, ready, Raul? Let's go. Alright my friends, that was a delicious meal. Donny Avad. And we are going to continue exploring for our first impressions here in Amritsar. Good job my friends. Oh, let's see how we get out of here. Thank you. Goodbye. Donny Avad. Oh no, tip for you. Thank you. Alright.
Oh, the nice part is the uh, weather has cooled down just a little bit, so it's not as hot now that we're uh, probably an hour later into yes, the day. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, much better, much better. So you've been to uh, this area. Now, if we're gonna save most of the Golden Temple for another video, where would you recommend that's a hidden spot? Hidden spot. Mm -hmm. You can walk here. Yeah, walk along here. So Check out the markets over here. The market. Do you think we can get a ride on this thing? Uh, this one is for children, not for us. Oh, okay, I could drive this thing right there. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, they've even got smoke on there. Oh. Smoke sounds in the light. <laughs> yeah. We could each get our own private car there. <laughs> I don't think they have any AC cabs though. Let's drive in the market. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that thing around. Oh, they, they even have speakers inside the train. And right inside the Golden Temple, there is a uh, delicious Starbucks right there too. Only to India, Pakistan, Laka border, one people, 150 rupees. Only 300 rupees up and down. Oh, that's a great price, brother. Daniabad. Dana? Daniabad. Laka border. All right, so this is it. We're going to check out some of the areas right over here and get our first feel for the Am Amritsar area. I will say this place is so modern and well designed. The architecture kind of reminds me of some areas we were in Jaisalmer, right? Yeah. A little bit. There was basically some very similar architecture I remember seeing in uh, Jaisalmer desert it's area. Color. Yeah, maybe it's the colors. Yeah, yeah. Similar colors. Yeah, yeah. Similar colors. Also very hot weather here. Namaste. Namaste. How are you, brother? Fine, fine. Yeah, very good. What's your name? Bundy. Bundy? Yes. Mac, nice to meet you. Yeah, what is your YouTube channel? Oh, it's a World No Mac. Yeah, just like uh, this, brother. Okay, okay. I will go and subscribe. All right, Donny Bad, brother. Nice to meet you. Yes, yes. See you. Uh, what do you think? Down this way gets us into... Uh, or down here at the fountain? We can walk. Oh, look at this. This is a fountain up here, right? Wow, that thing is huge. Okay, so this is the multi-layer or let's say multi-level fountain here where we have different um, sculptures. On the first level right here, we've got lions that looks like carved in. On the next level, some like architectural design. And then up there, it looks like we have elephants, warriors mixed with the lions, warriors up top and a warrior on the horse up there. And um, if I'm identifying warrior in any sort of wrong term, forgive me. I'm just going off purely looks here, but uh, very, very beautiful. And so it looks like here we have Maharaja Ranjit Singh from 1780 to 1839. And very beautiful, like fresh flowers all the way around. And is this even a highway that goes right through here? Or a subway station? Oh. oh, so a train goes up there or just cars? This is a path. A driving path, yeah? Driving path. Okay, wow. Yeah, it's a really nice architecture. Uh, what is this one, brother? No, no, no. Uh, wh what is this? No money, no money. Thank you. What is it? This one is like... This golden number head color compulsory. Kitna? Golden number. Oh, okay, okay. Kitna? Kitna? You know, your wish is happy. How much did he say? You can uh, give uh, like oh. anything. That thing is on tight. All right. Done, Evad. <laughs> yeah, we're getting one on Raul too. There we go, Raul. Looking fresh. I don't think knows an answer here. Thank you. We got 200 with your name on it, yeah? That's going to be good. Dani Avad. Thank you. All right, there we go. We're looking good now, bro. Okay, so sometimes you just got to buy yourself an impromptu uh, headband. So, do you know... Um, this the... one is uh, compulsory to visit uh, Golden Temple. Oh, you have to? You have to. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we can see what we've got in some of these marketplaces. Seems like there's bracelets, lots of... Uh, Metal jewelry is over here. Lots and lots of metals. When we're going for the Wagga border, what do you think uh, we need to wear? Like a uh, India jersey? India uh, shirt? Yeah, you can wear uh, Indian jersey or normal. 
We probably need to buy one at the market. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Indian t shirt, what do you Indian think in here? Uh, maybe we'll, maybe we'll find later. Okay, so this might be the one then. What do we got going on here? Namaste. Uh, do you have uh, India jerseys? Just the Indian size. Uh, uh, extra size. large, probably, or large. You gotta have room for the biryani belly, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Raul remembers that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Perfect. Smiley. Are these India jerseys? No, Indian jersey. Indian. Indian t-shirt. Indian t-shirt. And for the Wagga border. Wagga border. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't know if that looks like. What does this say? The gangster. Uh, this one. Power money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Extra large India shirt. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, good quality. India. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, nice quality, yeah. Yes. And uh, what about for you? What size are you? Uh, mine is uh, L. You have same uh, L. Okay. All right. Well, let me try this one on. Can you hold it? Let's try it out. Uh, the extras, don't be deceived my friends, the extra larges are actually so small here. I don't even know if this is going to fit me, I might need 2XL. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I think it's too small. Yes, it's small. Yeah. It's tight for you. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you have double XL? As you can see, it's a... Uh... It's biryani belly. Yeah, that's, that's the biryani belly right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding guys, I'm pushing it out. It's more like that, but it could be like that. <laughs> that's, not, that that's gonna be a paratha belly. Right, because so I think the large is bigger than the XL. You see that? No. Large is shorter one. We need the XL. They got the uh, sunburn from the uh, Kolkata. Yeah, this one, one of these will probably fit you better, Raul, not me. Maybe. Maybe L size is perfect for me. Alright, I'm seeing double XL down there. That's a good yeah. sign. Double XL. Let's see if we can find out. Yeah, I guess we shall see. That's the, I said India shirt first time when she brought that one out there. The gangster power money shirt. <laughs> We've got Louis Vuitton right over there, Jack and Jones for Got some good quality stuff here, yeah. All right, guys, unfortunately, double XL wouldn't be available right away, so we're gonna keep looking around. Maybe we'll come back here if we don't have any more luck, but that was the first shop. Let's do 50 push ups and then, yeah. <laughs> then wear, the, wear the XL. 50 side. push ups? 50 push ups? <laughs> yeah, and then they'll have it. Oh, yeah, then, then it'll fit. <laughs> No, but normally, like in the U.S., I wear a size large, but XL here is literally like the size of a medium yeah. in the U.S. Different. Yeah, very different. So I don't even know what like, like uh, someone that's even bigger than me would wear. Probably like a quad XL. <laughs> so it's hard to say. Oh, sorry. Here is lots of toes. Crashed right into the man. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no. Small, small, small. Uh, it looks like he's got some good stuff, but we're going to keep looking down this way. Oh yeah, much busier on this side of the uh, city as we get closer to the Golden Temple. But I'm not seeing too many shirts here. We're gonna ask them. Really the best places to go are where they have them on display. That's what I found. I'm looking for an uh, India t-shirt for the Wagga border. You got, you have? Double XL? Yes, yes. Double XL confirmed? Yeah, all right, all right. Double XL India shirt for the Wagga border, brother. Yeah. Come here. All right, all right. And you already have it here? Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. That's a good sign. I like the confidence here. Namaste, namaste. Okay, sir. All right, you got a deal, brother. Uh, he's going back to the secret area. He's, he's going to another shop, it looks like. Namaste. 
All right, so. Well, we shall see. Is this it right there? Uh, it's Levi's. Levi's. That's a little different than the uh, one we're looking for. What do we got there? Puma. Okay, oh, similar. Louis Vuitton style right up there. Well, I don't see the India shirts, brother. He's got us, he's got us waiting. So I'm trying to find a place that's uh, stocked with them. But uh, they, all, they all seemed very confident that they had the shirts and we were sitting there. I turned the camera off for like five, six minutes. But I would have waited at the last place. Those guys didn't even have the stock, so. We'll keep going down this way and see. Holy moly, we got a crash there. India Pakistan sharing to Oh, thank you, brother. Oh, I got Pani Puris. I love Pani Puri. All right, none of these places have the. Uh... You think it's better to buy one at the Wagga border? We can buy it from there also, but uh, we have time, so we can buy it from here. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We can do a little bit of a market hunt. Yeah. I figured in a touristy area like this, it'd be a little easier to find those shirts. But I'm also surprised uh, how many people here, like most of the salesmen that are coming up to me right now, are actually asking to go to the uh, Wagga. Oh, holy moly, it's tickling our bellies. Easy with that, my guy. It just started tickling both of our bellies. <laughs> what in the hell is that? <laughs> Have you ever had someone just come and tickle you? First time experience. Yeah, jeez. I swear, the most random things happen to me. So many shops. Yeah, so many shops around here. Lots of like uh, really nice garments here for the saris, hats, backpacks. Oh, we've even got a. Uh, hey, namaste. We've even got a TikTok purse, but TikTok's banned in India, so that's interesting. <laughs> namaste. All right, so some really nice stuff. Hey, we got a new friend following us. Oh, that's great news, brother. And he works for everyone, it seems like. All right. Gotta watch out for those belly ticklers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so it looks like uh, we're. This is the first time trying to find something that's like. Uh, you would expect to be very easy to find. It's hard to Hi, find. Sir. Namaste. Hi. Hello. What's how are up? you? I'm Kesa here. Bye, Sab. I'm fine. Fine. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very you? good. Hello. How are Hello. You want good. For and the you? Shoot? You want for the shoot? Uh, no. I'm actually doing a, a YouTube shoot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you want you YouTube shoot? Hi. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a world nomad, brother. You guys are future subscribers? Oh. <laughs> yeah. World Nomad on all channels, yeah? What your city? Uh, from Chicago. Okay, okay. Nice, to you. Okay, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, brothers. Okay, bye. Take care, take, take care. See you, see you. I almost didn't recognize you with that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, we've got a foreigner here. <laughs> all right. So, we've got hats here, belts. We've got Dada Dad right there. So Dada means bro in uh, Bengali and Assamese. So, as we get closer to the Golden Temple, I'm thinking the prices are also going to increase. What do you think? Go to the left? Oh, it's got an Oaga border. Oaga border, India uh, or something. Hey, how much is it? How much? 200 rupees. 200 rupees. And what is Tuk Tuk? Yeah, sharing to okay. It's not private, but it's sharing. It's private. Oh, it's private? Private. private. Air condition? Private. Chocolate. Air Levels. condition? Levels. 1100. I thought, it was, I thought it was 200. Yeah. No, thank you, brother. <laughs> he said 200 and then he said 1100. He's saying, uh, in 200 is sharing. Oh, 200 is sharing. Oh, oh. Ah, okay, okay. So he was basically saying if we want it private, it's 1100. That makes sense. All right. Well, hello, brother. Maybe we have to go back to the same job. Yeah, we might have to go back to the first shop because they said 15 minutes. The shirts have probably already arrived now. But if we went the other way towards the Golden Temple, well, the challenge there is the prices are going to go up. But more importantly, we're actually going to be exploring the Golden Temple with a local in an upcoming video. So I want to share some of that in an upcoming video and so this one's just more of my first impressions walking around getting a feel for this place and oh america we got an america handkerchief right up there that's cool 
Namaste. Oh, we got the British flag right there. British flag right there, brother. Yeah. Hey, down, boy. Sit. <laughs> yeah, Raul remembers that. Down, boy. Down, boy. Hello. Oh, oh, thank you, brother. Please down. Yeah, thank you, thank you. We're looking for shirts, brother, not a ride. All right. Oh, we got swords here too. Swords, rings, and namaste. We've got uh, stuff to bring to the Wagga border here. Wagga border. You got uh, India t-shirts? No. No? Okay. No problem. No problem. Why is it Billy? Wagga border is Billy. You got uh, India shirts here, brother? India shirts here? Hmm? India for the Wagga border, brother. No. Okay, it doesn't have them? Tell me about He's saying we he's saying we can buy from there. Oh well, we can? Oh at the Wagga border. Yeah. Oh, alright, alright. So maybe we buy at the Wagga border. Well, then that's gonna be the plan, my friends. Yeah, it seems like from walking around here and talking to people, the two most popular things, and I'm sure this is very arguable in this area. Let's see if I can get those sunglasses on. One second. Oh. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, Much better, yeah? Oh, should I let the ears out of it? Yeah, you can. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Oh, much better. Perfect. Yeah, so basically the two most common things in, in here that I've just heard verbally is take you to the Golden Temple or take you to the Wagga border. But yeah, there's a lot of things we're going to be exploring while we're here in Amritsar, Punjab. All right, our brother here has got us uh, right here. Namaste, brother. Uh, you can uh, give us a tour? Uh, Golden Temple. Uh, not to the Golden Temple, but market. 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 a tour. Uh -huh. market. All right. Uh, Kitna? Kitna? How much is this? How much is this? What price is that, brother? And he's saying any price I want, yeah? He's saying uh, I just uh, arrived. Uh, you can uh, give as much. Oh, because I'm his first ride of the day. Yes. Okay. As much all right, as all right. Want. Should I get on the back? The back here, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Comfortable. Oh, that's great. Chale chalo. Chalo. Chale chalo. Full speed ahead. All right, so we're gonna get ourselves a nice little uh, tour here. And uh, oh, let's put it this way. There's not shocks on it. All right. Oh, this makes it a little easier walking around in the uh, or cruising around in the uh, hot heat well feels great my friends welcome to amritsar oh, this guy's on the phone while cruising on the motorcycle all right oh, we got a race here we're gonna see if our uh, brother tries to pass us i think he's going for it he's thinking about it and we're hitting a little bit of a traffic jam right up here that's a tight little space. Oh, we almost crashed. Namaste, brother. Oh, this guy's hanging out of the bus right there. He's hanging right out of the bus. <laughs> is that a school bus right there? This one is a school bus. Uh, local, uh, is that Golden Temple? Uh, school in the Golden Temple? No, no. This is only school bus. Is there schools inside the Golden Temple area? Oh, okay. Uh, Cambridge International School right there. Alright, and we are entered. Whoa, we just had a nice little jump there. Okay, here we go. So now we're under the uh, main bridge over here. Namaste. Namaste. Hey, how we doing? Alright, we're, we're keeping up with traffic right now. Hold it, hold it. We hit a traffic jam. Thumbs going down here. Hold it, hold it. You're from Amritsar? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great city. We got the police right here. We're cruising through. All right, we got the uh, bus service down this way and we're gonna be going. Oh, more markets this way. Lots and lots of horns going through here. But I will say one thing I love about this area, it's a very, very clean uh, city right down in this area. We recognize this fountain, but it seems like it's uh, overall very well kept up. 
It seems like it's uh, very well kept up in terms of the uh, local uh, ordinances, or local government municipalities that make sure the place is clean, in great shape. It seems like there's a lot of police presence here, safe area. So yeah, really nice uh, first impression in this place. And so I like it a lot. I can see a lot of people. Now I've been to India three times and it's my first time coming to Punjab this time. And now I understand why people have been telling me come to Punjab because it's a, uh, an incredible experience so far. Hey, how are we doing? Okay, fine. Very good, very good. So we're meeting locals while we're cruising. This is why it's a great, uh, great time to go cruising on the, uh, on the bike midday. Can meet a lot of the, uh, the people around here. All right, now we're cruising up top here. So we're getting some better views of the city. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> there we go. We got some good, some good energy right over there. So, oh, we got the police. We're gonna see if they bust us here. Okay. Well, I will say we're not getting the uh, sun protection that we were getting, but I'm at least able to see more of the uh, area at once. Yeah, this area I don't think we've actually walked over to yet. A lot of pigeons over here on the left. Uh, I think being fed by some of the locals and brothers daba and maybe this is exiting i would assume the uh golden temple grounds that's what it at least looks like namaste all right so yeah, this is fantastic welcome to amritsar all right this is must be the textiles market right over here because I'm seeing a lot of uh, really nice dresses there and yeah, that's that's fantastic. Raul, how we doing down there, bro? Hey, Raul, how we doing down there, bro? I'm doing great, yeah, <laughs> I'm enjoying. Yeah, you're getting the shade right down there. I'm getting blasted by the sun up here. But our good man's taking us all over. We're getting a, a nice view into this place. So many bikes here, motorcycles, mopeds, and some bicycles too as well, but uh, it seems like that's probably the most common means of transportation. Some auto rickshaws over here as well. But yeah, just uh, I really like this city. It's, it's so different than, as you guys have probably seen in the previous videos in this India 2.0 series, much different uh, feel to it. Really welcoming here, very nice overall. And yeah, there's gonna be lots of street foods that I need to try while we're here. That'll be in upcoming videos though, because we just had ourselves a little uh, Alur Prarata, as you saw earlier. Namaste. All right. Sometimes I uh, still forget to go like this instead of like this. <laughs> so like sometimes my neck will turn because I'll do something in the middle. And I'll be like, oh. Oh, we got. To... Namaste. Uh, how we doing? All right. So we're hitting a little bit of a traffic jam cruising through here. This is some uh, afternoon traffic here in Amritsar. Seems like this pickup truck doesn't want to go through. Chale chalo, brother. All right, yeah, serious traffic jam here. It's, it seems like it's a one-way. We're turning into a two-way here. Namaste. Oh, guess he's not a big fan. That's all right. Oh, hey, what do we got going on over there? Yeah, nice to meet you. Looks like they've got a nice little uh, shoe market right over there. But uh, yeah, almost it's uh, it's faster walking at this point. Namaste, my friends. Uh, nice people, very welcoming here in uh, Amritsar. You can tell it gets a lot of tourism over here, obviously because of the Wagga border, the Golden Temple, and a lot of the other beautiful things here in the city. Because this is probably the most foreigners in a city that I've seen since I've arrived, and uh, yeah, also a lot of uh, Indian tourists as well that I met. Um, the first night. I actually started filming this video this morning, but I arrived late after flying from Kolkata last night. Look at this though. Chale Chalo brothers. Hey, hello. Up Kesa hai bhai sahab. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's a world nomad brother. Oh, can you hold that roll? Yeah, it's right there, brother. Hey, good, and you? Yeah, very good, very good. Donny Bhatt. All right, we're getting subscribers while we're up here. Didn't expect that. All right. Well, we'll keep one of these on hand in case uh, we have any other potential subscribers coming this way. Uh, all 
right, this is uh, the longest road, I guess. I guess we have just probably another three, four meters to get through and then we're, we've made it. All right, and we're almost there. Okay, and we're almost there. That truck's been working hard to get through there. Wow, look at how many uh, pieces of garments they have on there. Rolls and rolls of it. Okay, and we have reached an opening in the traffic. I will say those fresh juices right there look awfully appetizing. But this must be the uh, street food headquarters right over here. Lots and lots of... Oh, I almost just got hit on the head with the umbrella. Ah, that smells quite nice. Oh, yes. Some delicious street food right there. And pineapple juices down there. How are we doing down here, Raul? I'm enjoying. I'm talking with the yeah, nice. <laughs> with the rickshaw man. I'm Kesa here, uh, auto man. Uh, no, rickshaw. <laughs> rickshaw man, yeah. This is uh, called cycle rickshaw. rickshaw. Uh, cycle rickshaw, yeah. Ah, uh, the bicycle rickshaw. Oh, hello. Namaste. Hey, are you gonna catch us? Are you fast enough to catch up? <laughs> All right. Oh, this man must have some strong legs. He's gonna get himself a uh, good tip for this. That's for certain. Down, boy. What was that? You want to uh, drink uh, coconut? Coconut. Oh yeah. If you think it's coconut time, then it's coconut time, yeah. <laughs> hey, Kitna. Then he'll take us, yeah. Okay, okay. You want coconut? Yeah, co tell him coconut for him too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Three, three, three coconuts, yeah? All right. All right, three coconuts here. Hello, brother. Hello. Uh, three coconuts, please. Yes, yes. Uh, Kitna? One, one coconut, 60 rupees. All right, perfect. Yeah, we'll do three. One for me, one for Raul, and one for the, our good man, the taxi driver there, yeah? You from? Uh, from U.S. U.S. Okay. You're from uh, Amritsar? Yes, Punjab. Very, very good First city. First time India. First, uh, no, 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 first time Punjab. Third okay, time okay, India. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. All right, here's our man. He's got the, uh, oh, look at that knife right there. Oh, pops that thing right open there. India, Pakistan border. Hey, yeah, yeah. Tuk Tuk and taxi. Waga border today. Daniabad. Ice cold for you. Oh, thank you, brother. All right, we got number two coming. Hey, bye, sub. Narish. Narish, nice to meet you. Narish Pashwan. Narish Pashwan, nice to meet you. Uh name is Mac Candy. Donny Avad, our driver, our driver. You got him one, yeah? All right. Uh, you can drink one. Yeah, for you, for you, brother. You're up. Thank you. All right, and last but not least, guys, the nice part is they keep these things ice cold inside the cooler there. Fresh, massive ice cube in there to get these things delicious. Because the last coconut I had was over in Kolkata and it was straight from the street, so it was warm sitting out. But these ones, when they're ice cold, that's when it's super refreshing. Daniyabad. I already finished it. Oh my god. All gone. Don't worry about it, brother. Sir, go long taxi. Taxi and I'm going to get the judgment. Push it. You can have Malai also. Something is also available in this. Yeah, the ice cold ones are the best, yeah? You want one, brother? I'm here. I'm here. They're very delicious, yeah? Hey, can I grab my bag here real quick, bro? Done How's that coconut for you, bro? You didn't finish it yet? No. I have so many coconuts in South India. Oh, we got the uh, the meat inside, yeah? Do you hang on taxi, Baga border? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so, brother. We've already got that figured out. Uh, I don't have change. Do you have any change, brother? I have. I'll pay. All right, so how, how do I eat that, bro? You're gonna have just uh, like that. Mm -hmm. uh, like that. How to break that thing off? I have 
had so many. Wow, first time ever eating that. That's the coconut meat. Mm. Bohota cha, brother. That is nice. So that's the coconut meat. I think coconuts have a much thicker one. Are these coconuts from Kerala? Yeah. Ah, so you can do electric. You can do e pay then, yeah? No. Oh, that's nice. G pay. G pay. G pay. Electronic payments at the food stands. That's Im impressive. You can scan here and pay. Oh, wow. So that's how most payments are made now. Phone pay, yeah? Yeah. India phone pay. That's quite nice. Like phone pay, Google pay, Paytm. Mm. That's great. Did you pay? Yeah, I paid. Okay, perfect. Well, we keep going then? Perfect. And the journey continues after a nice uh, coconut. Donny ah. brother, delicious coconuts. All right, so we're en route. How far is the taxi stand? Five minutes. Five minutes, all right. So we got a nice little cruise to get us over there. And that's gonna get us to the border. All right, we're back up top and we're uh, cruising through some of the tight streets here. As you can see, pretty much only uh, the tourist rickshaws are coming through here. Hello, brother. Namaste. The nice part is, uh, even though they speak Punjabi here, most people understand uh, some of the basics in Hindi, so I can at least use those words. Ask, how are you? What's your name? And greet them. Look at this guy's the roadblock right there. Letting them through. Oh, uh, looks like I smell some more street food here. Oh, right there, some fresh uh, paratha. Okay, now we're in a much quieter part of the street. It seems like this is more of the woodworking area. Maybe they're building some pallets here, or dressers, or other types of uh, units. That, or maybe they're building something out of old pallets. It was hard to tell while cruising by. But a lot of different uh, wood shops here, trucks picking up stuff. And you just don't have that uh, crazy busyness as some of the other tourist streets. Uh, just not too far away from here. And we're back on the main road here. Well, I must say, guys, my first impressions overall to sum this video up is that Amritsar is awesome. Very well developed, a lot of nice restaurants, food cuisines we're going to be testing in the video series here. Busy place, lots and lots of traffic here, but uh, overall a great experience. You have uh, pretty moderate prices here, very heavy tourism, and um, nice people overall. So everyone's been very welcoming, kind and nice. We even had the guy that came and tickled my belly, which was uh, quite funny. And so, yeah, this just goes to show you, my friends, a busy day in Amritsar, Punjab. So thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Hello, brother, let's go. How we doing, how we doing, how we doing? We got a, we got a close cab there. Namaste, brother. All right, there we go. We went through some serious traffic right there and got to see right at the end of this video a little bit of the Punjabi welcoming hospitality. So, oh, we got the police busting them. They got them. They got them. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, he's whipping them. <laughs> that police officer was just whipping the van. <laughs> yeah, this is for you, this is for you. Donny Bad. Thank you. Thank you. Donny Bad. Nice to meet you, brother. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.